expect you to show up at a timely like manner. Right, right. The, here we are. We're <laughs> on the new project and uh, getting greeted by my, <laughs> see, my, my chief of maintenance right here. I'm in the doghouse already. We've got power. We had the power turned on Friday. Today's the first day that we're turning everything on. Got all the lighting circuits work. I'm not doing anything with the 220 yet. I don't know if the uh, water's in the water heater. You never want to turn those on, burn the elements up. So, but here's the thing is, we do have light and uh, that's a great sign. There's Carla, she's trying to get warmed up. We are not running anything like the heat and everything like that. I'm gonna have my guy come by and take a look at all that kind of stuff and uh, check it out in a, another day. Mud dauber right there. We definitely need to get that window repaired. I think we'll be able to keep all this flooring right here. Good cleaning up. New ceiling fan. Gonna need to get some light fixtures. I think those were speakers right there because they have small wiring coming out of them. Well, we might have a little bit of electrical trouble. We'll just have to figure that out. What was that? Here. Car Carla's cold blooded. She always needs a heater going. Oh, yeah, I'm a snake. No. <laughs> There's some kind of water. Right. Comes in there. I don't know if you need flashing on the outside or what. Yeah, I hear you on that. It, unfortunately, they just don't seal the windows real well on these mobile homes. That's the only one that's not all cracked up. Right. But that's the sun, too, isn't it? Yep. All right, I'm going to use. This that I got out of the closet to right. match those up there. All right, sounds good to me. Got a little bit of woodwork to repair right there. Actually, it's really not that bad. We're just gonna have to seal around these real well. We'll fix that and we're gonna come in here and paint and this thing will be done, this room pretty much. All right. My crew's got that big pile of stuff. Let's go see what they got right here. Some rotten wood. This stuff right here is created by Satan, I'm telling you. It's called masonite. It's like compressed cardboard. Should not even be able. There's Robert. And uh-oh, uh he's leaving already, see? And uh, that stuff right there should not even be allowed on a job site in any state that's got more than 80% humidity in it, I'm here to tell you. Now, this is something that we found out is the other day that was leaking real bad. And this part right here has got a uh, break in the line. So we're going to uh, have to uh, get the water turned on and then we're going to cut it back to here and redo it and everything like that. And uh, they got to redo that. These steps are going to go away. We're going to put some new stuff. We'll have to do some rebuilding right there for sure. And probably pull that off. And there we have the multi-talented Carla. Cheesy. Yeah, cheesy. And uh, <laughs> she did the sheetrock repair right there and right there. And she's just been going to town with everything. And I got a new piece right there and some tape and some mud and we're just Putting it all together. I gotta get another window for right there. Bathroom's not in bad shape. We're just gonna have to clean this up some. I, well, other than replacing that window seal right there, we pretty much don't have to do anything in here except we're going to replace that ceiling fan because it's all wanky and everything. But we just need to paint this and uh, put flooring down and this room should be good to go. Now, why did you smash your finger on everything? Are you trying to be like a princess or something? <laughs> like paparazzi. Look at it. It's, it's not even 
not even point. I mean, I, I said it, but it's not even pointing the right direction. That's what I'm talking about. Black electrical tape will cure everything. <laughs> hey, it looks, it looks like a bird shit on your shoulder right there. Oh, that's sheetrock mud. I'm sorry. So we get good progress being made. I think the deadline of the end of March is going to happen. Had somebody that supposedly was interested in renting it, they said they just drove by and said no. So it is what it is. It happens like that. Hear that compressor sound? Right. Uh, we're going to have to hear it here in a second. I got to hear it some tires. I think we're just going to take quick sheetrock on the bottom of that. Well, we got to put a little air in the tool trailer tire right there. and. It's always nice to have an air compressor with you. So we've taken some of that apart. And got some sheetrock repairs being done. Some mudding going on. We're gonna replace that wall. We're gonna put Luon and paint it. The reason for that is, is that Luon is much stronger than sheetrock. And again, you fix something so you don't have to mess with it for 10 years. It's real difficult for somebody to put their fist through a sheet of Luon. We're going to do sheetrock repair right there. The reason for it is because of that area. It'll be cheaper for us just to do that. This one right here, all I'm doing is doing enough so we can go ahead and get this rented out as quick as possible. I don't want to get into this thing too much. I want it to start cash flowing again. Um, and I am not opposed to turning around and selling it to somebody, make a quick 20, 30,000 if possible. So there you go. We are going to put Luan over this right here. It's pretty cool. I don't know what in the world happened right there, but we're gonna pull that out and uh, get this all working again. Hopefully the AC will work properly. I had my doubts on whether all the electrical was gonna work. Thankfully, so far it seems to be. We're just gonna to have to um, find out on the rest of it, so to speak, and, uh, and kind of go from there. Um, some of the stuff I don't understand, but you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna have to get another drop-in cooktop. And we're gonna to have to cut a piece of board to go in the bottom of that. That right there has been leaking for a long time. Refrigerator seems to be working, but I ain't opening it. We're probably gonna do a board that looks like four inch square tiles put around here, make it look good. Quick, fast, way to go. I think what we're gonna do here is peel up all the ones that are starting to curl, get them up. And then we'll probably put LPP down. Um, maybe do some 18 inch tiles. Chris suggested that. I'm gonna have to take a look at those. And, uh, but it's coming along, no doubt. I gotta seal these windows up real good. They, uh, they don't do any type of sealing. And unfortunately, without any gutters, the, the rain is real close. And so you end up having problems. And then window seal right there, they use like a thin sheet of something wood and it's, it, they just never last. All right, so we're wrapping it up for the day. We're headed to the house. We'll be back tomorrow, do it again. And I gotta go sign some contracts. I got one today turned in, got another one I gotta send off. One I gotta go look at tomorrow. So we'll make some money. Hey, good morning. This is a wrap up of the video from uh, what we started on yesterday. This is having to do with the $9,500. I don't know if it's modular home or mobile home or what, but it was my latest acquisition. And my promise is, is that I'm gonna do day by day, chronicle this thing the whole way up until the point that we have a resident moving into it and we get some money. So total closing cost, out the door, $10,340, okay? I paid $1,000 on the finder's fee. I can't stress to you enough having to do with this is, is that when somebody helps you, 
make sure it's kind of proportional to what it is. Because I've had some people say, well, why don't you just get them a, a gift certificate to, you know, steakhouse or something like that and everything. And it's like, you know, somebody puts a really good deal on you and then you're going to hand them 50 or 100 bucks and you have expectations that they're going to do it again. Eh, let me know how that works out for you. Okay. I guarantee that person's going to call me again as soon as they hear anything. And you wouldn't believe because last week on social media I put I paid $1,500 this week in finder's fees. I had 12 people tag me on different deals. Doesn't mean they're getting paid, but if I end up buying the deal, then they will get paid. I have had one guy that for, he got paid $500 for just sending me a message saying, hey, I know somebody that's got a house for sale. Do you think he's going to do it again? Hell yeah! I'm telling you folks, don't be stingy. If somebody's helping you climb the ladder, help them as well, okay? Just say it. So then we had to pay $350 to get the yard cut. If you saw it, that stuff was thick and deep as well. And so that's part of it. On Friday, me and Robert worked over there, got everything unloaded out of the house, took it to the dump, threw it away and everything like that. You're looking at about 500 bucks. Yesterday, Carla and Robert worked over there. It's about $500 right there. And we had $587 in materials that were bought. Okay, sheetrock, some other stuff. Um, we did get the power turned on. Everything seems to be working well. Kind of some funky stuff that people did extra and above and everything. Today we're going to call and get the water turned on, start working on getting the place replumbed. It's got that gray polybutylene. No, get rid of it. Don't even try or anything like that. That stuff will come back and bite you. It's got notorious for having pit off after a few years. And I don't know how old this, uh, this mobile home is, but I'm assuming that it's in the 10 to 15 year range, somewhere in there. And uh, so, but replumbing it with the supply lines and everything hot and cold, yes, absolutely. Um, another thing for you is, is if you get a property that's been vacant for any length of time, make sure that you do turn the power on with the water heater on. Make sure it's off. Wait till it fills up, okay? Because if that thing turns on and there's no water in it, guess what? It's burning up the elements. A lot of times you run into situations where people do crazy stuff at places and you have no idea. I got no idea why some of the things were done and so I'm not taking that chance, all right? So, basically we're at 13,003. There's one expense that I didn't calculate in there. That's two trips to the dump. That's about $200 and everything. So we're actually at about 13,005. So there you have it. Ideally, I want the rent to be between 16 and 1800 when we're done with it. And I am trying to do this one as economically as possible. Um, a lot of the different factors. One, you need to know your neighborhood. Number two, you need to know the clientele that's going to rent in that neighborhood. Number three, you know, we're going back and putting some, uh, we call it luon, but it's basically like real thin plywood on some of the walls where the holes in the sheetrock are because we want this thing to be bulletproof as possible. It's a lot harder for you to uh, put your fist through a piece of plywood than it is sheetrock. There you go. Got that tip from Roy and I got that tip from Chris Shimmerman as well. So there you have it. And this is where we're at right now, about 13.5 total. So we got another day coming up. Stay tuned.